some atoms are unstable. So, they randomly throw out radiation to become more stable, and this is what we call radioactive decay. So, here you can see an unstable nucleus, and that can give out gamma radiation, beta particles, or alpha particles to become more stable. So, alpha is alpha 2, 4, beta radiation, beta minus. There are two types as plus and minus, but in GCSEs, you can just consider that to be beta minus and gamma radiation is like that. Now you need to know about the nature of these things. Alpha particles consist of two protons and two neutrons. So alpha particle, two neutrons and two protons. Now this is identical to a helium nucleus. Why? If you think about a helium atom, you have two protons, two neutrons and two electrons. Now if you get rid of these two electrons, you are left with the nucleus, which is identical to an alpha particle. So, two protons and two neutrons. Beta particles are high speed, high energy electrons ejected from the nucleus. So, one might ask, oh, there are no electrons in the nucleus. So, how, how is that possible? Well, what really happens is a neutron in the nucleus will split into a proton and an electron. And that electron comes out as a beta particle. Gamma radiation, this is high frequency electromagnetic radiation, just like light. So there is no mass or no charge. Here you can see properties of alpha, beta, and gamma radiation you need to know. This has a lot of information, so you might need to pause the video and have a look at it after the explanation. Nature of alpha particles, two protons and two neutrons. Beta, high energy electron, gamma, EM wave. Charge of an alpha particle because there are two protons is plus two. Beta, minus one. Gamma, no charge. Relative mass, alpha particles, two protons, two neutrons, so that's four. Beta, really small, almost zero. Gamma is a wave, so no mass. The penetration power, alpha radiation is stopped by a paper or few centimeters of air. So usually you can call about five centimeters of air. You can see it on the diagram on the right hand side. Alpha particle cannot penetrate the paper. Beta radiation can go through a paper no problem, but it's usually stopped by about three millimeters thick aluminum. You can see it here, it gets stopped by that. Gamma radiation is reduced by thick lead or concrete. Ionizing power, Alpha is highly ionizing, beta is moderately ionizing, gamma least ionizing. Great. Range, beta radiation is up to 1 meter, 30 centimeters to 1 meter. Uh, gamma radiation can go lots of meters. If there's an electric field, the alpha particles will change the direction because it has a charge, plus 2. Beta radiation also change direction because it has a charge negative 1. But gamma radiation has no charge, so it will just not bend. It will go straight through. Speed, alpha particles are relatively slow, like it's still fast, but relatively. Beta faster than alpha, gamma radiation go at the speed of light, which is 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. Uses. Alpha radiation are used for smoke detectors. Beta radiation, are, beta radiation is used to measure thickness of um, paper and aluminum foil, things like that. Gamma radiation is used as medical tracers, sterilizing medical equipment, sterilizing soft fruits, like things like that. 